Hello there, Sad Guru. It's AB De Villiers here. And my question to you today is what will next week's lotto numbers be? <laughs> I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, as South Africans, we, um, and here in South Africa, as you know, we have a very rough past, a past of uh, apartheid and uh, lots of racial conflict. Um, and my question to you is how do we fix the past um, without forgetting it? But how do we fix it? And if it's not fixable, how do we get all South Africans lined up with the same positive um, mindset, um, a mindset of hope and a will to want to change our country and make it a better place? Um, I truly believe we have an incredibly special and powerful nation. And if we can get everyone lined up, we have the power to change the world. But how do we get there? Thank you. Abby, about uh, the lotto, I'll come to that towards the end because if I give you the numbers right now, you know, when people know you have won a lottery, you will be in danger. Even if you don't carry anything in your pocket, if you declare I won the lottery, most probably you will get hit. So I don't want that to happen because we want to see you hitting the ball for some more time <laughs> I want you to understand, even here in India, People love your betting, <laughs> except… except when you're playing against India <laughs> As you can see, I'm already dressed for Africa <laughs> Well, unfortunately, in human societies, Many tragic, terrible and horrendous things happen or they're done rather. But this has been human history. In every nation, there is a history of pain and horrendous situations. Probably South Africa has had more than its share of that pain. Well, the absolutely wonderful continent that Africa is has gone through enormous pain and suffering in the last two hundred years and continues to suffer in many parts of it. Well, what is the solution for this? What is the way forward? How can we fix the past? What we call as past does not exist, so we cannot fix it. It does not exist in the world, so we cannot fix it. But it exists in our minds and hearts. The painful histories that many nations, including India, has seen. It is not alive, but we have kept it alive in our minds and our hearts. We should definitely not forget, because if we forget, we may once again drive ourselves into the same pit. But we cannot fix that which does not exist or that which is already over. Well, the many thousands of people who fought, sacrificed and served your nation to get its freedom and its present status in the world, if their lives should not go waste, great leaders like Steve Biko or Nelson Mandela, if their lives should not go waste, it is important the people of South Africa must understand there is only one choice. Whatever the nature of our experience, good, bad, ugly, will we turn it into wisdom or make a wound out of it? If you make a wound out of it within you, in your experience, 
what is over unfortunately is still on. So will we remain a wound or will we make wisdom out of it? If you make wisdom out of it, we can fix the future. Please do not try to fix the past. Fixing the past means manipulation. Rewriting history and saying everything was fantastic. No, it was not fantastic, it was horrendous. But we can fix the future. To fix the future, there is no magic wand. We must plan, prepare and participate in what we call as nationhood. But if we make a wound out of it, we will not have the wisdom to plan, the forethought to prepare and energy to participate in anything because our pain will take a toll. Don't suffer something that is already over. Let's create a great future for the wonderful country that South Africa is. And uh, about the lottery, <laughs> I could give you the lotto number, but I will tell you, if you keep hitting the ball well, uh, you will hit the lotto <laughs> So I'm looking forward to being there in the month of April. Hope to see you, Abby. Wonderful. Let me see if you can take a googly from me.